Alright, this is Joseph Martinez from Gorilla 3D. Um, I'm going to show you a little task management system that I have built for a game I am making. Uh, the reason I made this is to be more interactive with my, my staff members and give them tasks and whatnot. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and log in. Now this design is pure CSS. So you can see the menu. I have some extra things I've added since my last task video that I recorded. Um, so there's some basic things here. There's my tasks that you're looking at right now. Like I have this one. It's a database, database SQL, and it says add support for SQL database. And as you can see, each time I click, it gives me some more information. So it's basically a title description sort of thing. And I have my own custom checkbox system. It's not using forms or anything, it's just using CSS and, and JavaScript. So, um, and these are my completed tasks. They're just grayed out right now. Um, so let's say if I did complete this one right here, I'll go ahead and click the check mark. And I'll get shot down to the bottom over here. And, you know, and I'll go ahead and, since I didn't finish it, I'll go ahead and uncheck it again. Um, now let's say I wanted to order these from importance, um, so I'll hold down control and drag up to sort my, my list. Um, when I developed this, it seemed perfectly normal and worked fine, but I have a Mac user and apparently control and click is like right click, so I had to devise some other way to reorder the list. Um, and then to add a basic task, I just simply click add. It brings up a draggable window. And I can assign it to myself and my other staff members. So I'm going to go ahead and assign this to myself. Put test. And add a description here. And go ahead and add my task. Now it adds it without reloading or anything. None, none of the stuff I've done made the paid reload. Uh, so again, go ahead and check mark this off. And now if I want to delete this, I'll simply click on the low X on the right side of this. And now it's gone. So if I go ahead and refresh the page, everything's still there.